What's up, bitches? So, welcome to my channel. I'm doing a story time today, so let's just get all cozy. I'm in my little PJs. But yeah, let's just get into it. I've been wanting to do story times for a while. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a good one. Let's jump right in. So I was dating a guy for like, this happened like four years ago. Somewhere around there. I'm terrible with time. Like, I'm terrible with time. I can't believe we're halfway through the year. Anyways, I was dating this guy for about, like, two years. Everything was good. Everything was fine. It was a good relationship. So I thought, you know. Um, I wake up one day. I pretty much, like, we lived together almost. I mean, I was, like, at his house almost every single night. So basically. And I woke, woke up next to him. Woke up to a text. Or not a text. A DM. And it's some guy, and he's like, hey, some, um, just so you know, your boyfriend has been cheating on you with my girlfriend. Something in that realm. It's not word for word. That's what he said, that, but that's basically what he said. I, I can't remember exactly. So it's like years ago. And I looked at it, and I was just like, like, I legit laughed at first. Because I was like, there's no fucking way like this guy is at work super early and like comes home and i see him in his dirty ass work clothes or his friends drop, drop him off or i mean his co-workers or he has you know and then he sees me after so i'm just like how does he have the time like he acts like he's so into me like i like i said just there was no fucking signs like i just didn't i mean like i was like there's no way you know so i show him it and i was like hey do you know this guy like i got this weird message and he's like he's like no like what the hell he like takes my phone and he's like reading it he's like no just like block him like i don't know who that is yada 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 so like i just try to put it behind me right then the girl messages me a girl messages me and she was like, hey, yeah, just so you know, it's all true. Like, I'm so-and-so's girlfriend. And I have all the receipts. And she had fucking receipts. Like, she had so much screenshots, conversations, like, just things. And I show him these pictures, and he's just like, deny, deny, deny. Deny, deny. Even though I have all this proof denies it and i'm like okay so they photoshopped it and he is like yeah like in my head i'm like huh they, they did because i didn't want to believe it at the time like it really was like considering that these people fucking photoshop it and i was just like kept thinking like but why would these people do that like why would they go out their way you know like it just didn't make sense to me but i just couldn't like really accept you know, he really, he looked me dead in the face and he was like, I have too much respect for you to like lie to you or whatever. And I was like, okay, like that's that. Like he looked me dead in my face and I just like believed him like a dumb fucking bitch. So the next day I go to work and I'm sitting at my desk and like that's literally all I can think about. Like that's all I can fucking think about right and so i messaged the girl and i'm like hey like i just needed more you know I, I, like what she gave me wasn't enough even though it definitely was i needed more so she's like we so i call her right i'm like can i call you so i call her because i think she wanted me to go over or something i was like bitch i'm not going to your fucking house like it's almost sounds like a setup i don't know it's just I, and I didn't want to go to her house anyways. Like, it's just, there's no need. So, she's just telling me all the stuff and, like, stories that I just know that he wouldn't just tell anybody. Not just anybody knows the stuff. And, like I said, more pictures. And I just couldn't fucking believe it. Like, I, like, at that point, okay, I believed it. But I just mean, you know, like, I couldn't believe that this happened. Like, it was while so i call him and i'm like i i don't know how many times i've used the word like in this story i'm gonna try to stop doing it okay 
So I call him. He's at work. I'm at work. And I'm like, I know everything. Just tell me the truth. He responds. Yeah, like that happened. How do I talk without using like... And like he finally, cause he finally confesses. He finally like, then he confesses. Like he got caught. He didn't confess, but he finally admits to it. If he, you know. So after work, I was like, all right, like I'm just devastated. Like I'm fucking devastated. Like you guys have no fucking idea. I mean, if you've been cheated on, I'm sure you know. If you haven't, like, it's just, it's so devastating. You just feel like everything's, like, a fucking lie. Everything, like, was any of it real? It just hurts, you know, you trusted somebody so much. And they do, like, the most betrayal thing. And there's even, there's more. There's so much more. Oh my God, okay, it's worth it. Okay, so after where we go ahead and he meets me... And we meet at some, like, parking lot. And he gets out his vehicle. I get out my vehicle. Like, I've just been bawling my eyes out. Like, I've just been bawling my fucking eyes out. As soon as I approach him, like, I slap the shit out of that motherfucker. I should have fucking gave him one of these instead. But I know that shit hurt. Open palm, you know. I can to that bitch. Um. And we were just talking, basically, it was just like asking him questions, and I don't know why I needed all these details. I'm gonna let you guys know, from my experience, like, I, so I didn't stay with him after, but I still stayed in contact way too long, like, I should just cut it off. If that ever happens to you, you have two choices, either forgive and forget, forget, is that how it goes? Like, if you're gonna forgive them, forgive them, like, and don't like bring it up all the time and have all this resentment like if you can't really forgive them then you have to break up with them you know like there's just no way around it there's just personally i wouldn't stay so and i immediately ended it of course still stayed in contact i just couldn't like this person i was with every single day like it was like one of the it was so fucking hard like so hard guys Seriously, broke my heart. Fucking deck. But it's okay. So I slapped him. We talked. Um, we went our separate ways, yada yada. Or we I don't know what happened after that exactly. But yeah, basically that girl still tried to like message me through Twitter and she was like, Hey, I have like this and that and I was like, honestly, like I have everything I needed. Like I don't need any more information. Like it's done. I broke up with him, like and then she started giving me attitudes and started going off on me. And then I blocked her and then she made another account and started messaging me on there. And I, cause I like put on my tw Twitter, like this bitch won't leave me alone. Like she wouldn't. And then she said, oh, you're gonna call me a bitch. It's not like bitch, I'll drag you. I'm like, you fucked my man and you're like saying no be here and like all this shit and that you're gonna fight me and drag me. Okay. I don't understand bitches like she was nasty she oh okay mind you this bitch has been following me on instagram and you know what's so crazy guys listen to your fucking intuition because we always try to ignore it and i don't know why like it's there for a fucking reason listen to your intuition because for example this like usually when people follow me on instagram like if it's a girl and we have mutuals like i'll always follow her you know like if she's from like the same town and has like a friend similar to mine i'll always usually always follow the fucking girl back um compared to like guys like i'll always follow the girl back and one day this girl requested me and i looked at her stuff so we had mutuals but like something about her i just i don't know i just had this off feeling i was just like i'm not gonna add her i don't know what it, the feeling was i really don't know little did i know this girl was following me and when we were talking she was like yeah you posted something on your story and you said so thankful and i it was a picture of me and my boyfriend at the time and she was like i felt so like guilty and she was like i just knew i had to tell you I'm like oh i'm so glad you like 
gained like a conscience at some point. But then you lost it again once you said you're gonna drag me. Um, so sweet of you. But yeah, she was, I was always like, so you knew the whole time that he had a girlfriend and you like didn't care? She was like, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. And I was like, all right, you know what? You guys could have each other, have a good fucking life. And <laughs> talk to me again. And yeah, so I had to block her other tweet, tweeter. I had to block her on the other Twitter account. God. Messy. Oh yeah, and uh, other things that he did, like not, that's not the only thing he did. He was fucking like, okay, so he's fucking this girl for like almost over a year. We were together. We were together for two years. He was pretty much cheating on me, almost our whole fucking relationship. Fucking, people are nuts. He had a fucking, I saw a screenshot he had and it was like a girl's like profile and I'm like, this is from a dating app. Must have been on like fucking Tinder, whatever that bullshit is. Must have had a count there. He had fucked other multiple girls. Like that wasn't the only girl. Like there was other girls. It's crazy. And it's not like we didn't have like, maybe this is like too much information, but we like, we had like a good, like, like everything was good in that department. You know what I mean? Like, but sometimes that doesn't matter. Sometimes people, and that's the thing you'll ask yourself, why, 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 why? You like, you're not gonna like, you're not gonna get the answer. It's not gonna be a good answer at least either. It's not gonna be what you wanna hear. So just tell them to kick rocks. But yeah, that's my, I don't think I left anything out. I could have go to the gym right now. But yeah, that was a hard one to get over. But good, make sure you just get over it, okay? I know it's not as easy as it sounds, obviously, but you could do it. You can do it. If I can, so can you. Cause dreams do come true. All right, no, but seriously, um, if you guys have any other like story times or like advice videos, I like those. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys next time. Bye.